Critical race theory is going to destroy this country from the inside out. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Before we get into our story today, please take a moment right now to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help support the channel and it also send my video out there to viewers who have not seen my content or my channel. With that being said, our story of the day comes from our friends over at Blaze Media. It is written by Paul Saka and he titles it, Women Who Survived Mao's Purge Compares Critical Race Theory in U.S. Schools to China's Cultural Revolution and Scathing Speech. Now, many of you have heard about critical race theory or CRT. It's kind of the big thing right now that uh, the leftists are trying to push within our education system and some education systems already teach it. Well, what is CRT or critical race theory? Basically, if you were to, have to basically tie it up in one sentence on a nice little bow, it's the idea that the individual self, somebody's whole being is predicated based upon their race. So race is the most important factor in somebody's being or their individualism. Whereas usually the correct answer should be that your individual self, everything that makes you up is based on your values, your belief, your milieu, your culture that you grew up in. And that milieu or that culture, that environment that formed you and created you has made up yourself and your being. But again, that's not what critical race theory says. Critical race theory is the idea that again, your race is everything to do with the individual and yourself. Moreover, critical race theory also teaches that the systems that have been built in America are there not to lift you up, but to bring you down if you're a person of color or you're a minority. Whereas that's not what normally is the American ideal, and that's not what the founders wanted, and that's not anybody else thereafter wanted. America is is built that if you make the correct decisions, the wise decisions, that there's nothing stopping you from being successful and being lifted up by the systems that have been created in America. Now, that doesn't mean to say that there hasn't been systems in the back that have held people of color down or minority people, but today in 2021, there's nothing of the sort that's created or has been here for a long time. So there's nothing stopping you from being successful here in America other than you making bad decisions, and that's what's going to keep you down, not the system itself. Furthermore, now PragerU does a great job here of creating a uh, an example that shows kind of the damage of critical race theory and just kind of crosses the T's, dot the I's with one example. Critical race theory begins from the assumption that racism occurs in all interactions. To see how this works, consider this thought experiment. Imagine you own a shop and two customers enter at the same time, one white and one black. Who do you help first? If you help the black person first, critical race theory would say you did so because you don't trust black people to be left alone in your store. That's racist. If you help the white person first instead, critical race theory would say you did so because you think blacks are second-class citizens. That's racist too. That's critical race theory. It can find racism in anything, even if it has to read your mind to do it. So as you see, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't in critical race theory. You're a racist no matter what based on this ideology, and that's why you're seeing it being so destructive, is you're screwed no matter what you do. Even if you're trying to do the right thing by serving the first customer, you're still a racist. Even if you don't serve the first customer and you serve the second customer for some odd reason, you're still a racist. And look, even if you do everything right and you go even past that point, you're considered racist because you're unconsciously racist. Even if you're a person of color, it teaches about white privilege. No matter what you do, just the, the lack thereof of melanin in your skin, you're considered racist. So now you're seeing why this is such a destructive ideology. And that's just me talking about it in about a paragraph, let alone teaching a whole curriculum of this stuff to children. You're going to create an indoctrination, entire generation that thinks America is inherently evil and racist. And by the way, you already have that with leftists. So this is really dangerous and destructive. And what you have is, uh, here is a lady from Mao's revolution talking about how this, what she dealt with is correlating to what critical race theory is. And let's go ahead and read this by Paul Saka. Woke leftists have been pushing critical race theory in public education, which has promoted many to compare CRD, uh, CRT to cultural Marxism, reminiscent of Mao's cultural revolution. One woman who actually survived the decade-long Chinese sociopolitical movement sees frightening similarities between critical race theory and Mao's violent purge. The Chinese-American immigrant skewered a Virginia school board this week for pushing CRT on their children. Let's go ahead and roll that tape. I've, I've been very alarmed about what's going on in our school. You are now teaching, training our children to be social justice warriors and to loathe our country and our history. Uh, growing up in Mao's China, all this seemed very familiar. 
the uh, communist regime used the same critical theory to divide people. The only difference is they use class instead of race. During the Cultural Revolution, I witnessed students and teachers again turn against each other. We changed school names to be politically correct. Um, we were taught to denounce our heritage. The Red Guards destroy anything that is not communist. Old uh, statues, books, and anything else. <clears throat> we are also encouraged to report on each other, just like the uh, Student Equity Ambassador Program and the Bias Reporting System. This is indeed the American version of the Chinese Communist, the Chinese Cultural Revolution. The critical race theory has its roots in cultural Marxism. It should have no place in our schools. This lady is absolutely right. And this is something that I've talked about on the show many of times is that you're seeing certain indoctrination already happening within the school system, which is why you're seeing certain people turn out like these leftists that going out and they're pushing fascism, socialism, CRT, America's racist, America is inherently evil. America is more racist today than it was in 1960, which is just an entirely crazy ass statement. But this is why you have people that are coming out of our education system acting like this and talking like this. They fully believe it. Look at how Antifa handles things. Look at how BLM handles things. These people just didn't get these thoughts just out of thin air. They were put into their head through our education system, as well as the leftists that are going on TV talking about these things, creating documentaries talking about these things or going into the education system and talking about these things as well. I've said it many times. There are people blatantly saying that socialism is good. Socialism works. There's teachers that are saying this stuff. And I tell people and they're like, nah, you're just kidding. I'm not kidding. They are teaching this in the school system. Now, is that what they're supposed to be teaching? Hell no. Should they be teaching that? Hell no. But that is why you have these people coming out and they're saying crazy things, which is people grow up and, be and become board members like this, or they become parents and the parents are totally cool with it, or they become teachers and the teachers are totally cool with it. It's, it's absolutely a destructive ideology and theory that is being pushed. And I mean that by the, by the, the most most seriousness that I could possibly be as far as the destructiveness of this whole theory. And this lady explains it perfectly and makes the correlation to Marxism and Mao's revolution perfectly. It goes on here to say the immigrant from China province said that critical race theory is an effort to transform classrooms into indoctrination camps. And she's seen it before. She's seen what these camps look like. And she's telling them, you guys need to be wary of this. You need to watch out for what you're doing. But I, I tell you that these board members are probably just snoozing behind. Don't give two craps about this lady. Don't give a crap about where she came from. It's just another story to them. Just another thing that they have to go through. Again, they're just dotting the I's, crossing the T's and just doing whatever they need to do so they can get the stuff pushed forward. Last month, parents launched an ad campaign to tackle the school system teaching the critical race theory and oust members who promoted the controversial ideology. Also in May, a woman slammed the Loudoun County School Board for pushing CRT and she compared it to a tactic used by Hitler and the Ku Klux Klan on slavery very many years ago to dumb down many ancestors so we could not think for ourselves. In January, an irate parent lambasted school officials for not reopening schools because of COVID-19 pandemic. A Christian physical education teacher, uh, Brian Tanner Cross, who I've actually talked about, I think it was this week or last week, was placed on administrative leave last month after he delivered a speech that declared a biological boy can be a girl and vice versa because it's against my religion is lying to a child, it is abuse to a child, and it's sitting against our God. Cross was speaking to a Loudoun School County board meeting regarding new transgender policies. And if you want to see that episode, I'll leave a comment in the, in the, uh, in above, right, wherever it's going to be, above, below, I don't know where they put this thing. But all I'm saying is that I talked about in that episode what type of trainings I had to do as an educator and the craziness of you having a great possibility of losing your job just by mis- gendering somebody not even misgendering somebody really not calling them their preferred pronouns is really what's happening here but this stuff's going crazy guys in our education system i can only be so clear about this stuff and you need to take it upon yourself to ask your son or daughter what's going on in school you need to look at what they're learning in history you need to look at what they're learning in economics you need to look at what they're learning in government class english class all these things you you in detail you need to ask them and i know you don't want to you just have a long busy day at work you don't want to deal with this crap and you shouldn't have to deal with this crap you should just Come home, put your feet up, watch TV, make dinner, do whatever the heck you need to do. But you can't do that in 2021. You need to be on top of the education. What did you learn today? 
tell me everything that you learned and, and pray to God your student was paying attention because unbeknownst to them, they should be sucking in all this information, not asking questions. And hey, you know, the teacher's a teacher. They must know what they're talking about. Not always the case, folks. But there you have it. A woman who survived Mao's purge compares critical race theory to U.S. schools to China's cultural revolution in a scathing speech. Thank God for these parents that are standing up against the education system and against CRT. With that being said, that is our last and only news story of the day. I hope all of you are doing very well. I hope you had a lovely week and I hope you even have a better and blessed weekend. Pray for our president, pray for the United States of America, and God bless America, and God bless all of you. Take care, everyone.